Okay, here's the start of the bird's nest that I'm going to be making. See, I got this, see the black part is the uh, kind of bowl thing that I picked up at the uh, thrift store. I think it was gold when I got it, spray painted it black. And then I got these uh, little, they were just malleable branches. And they were, they were green when I did this because I wanted them to be more pliable um, when I wove them through the, the basket thingy here. So those are all dried out now. Um, these are old grapes from, from the neighbor over there that I got uh, when I first moved in. Um, I also have some vines from the grapevine. And then this is um, faux uh, Spanish moss. So I'll see if I want some of that in there. And then over here, I have some from the dollar store. I don't know if these will make it in, but I'll take the green leaves off. Hopefully that's obvious. <laughs> um, and then I got these also from the dollar store. And I'll wind these throughout too. I like that they have the, the brown stems. Um, okay, so I'm gonna see if I can't weave um, a grapevine in there. It might be too brittle. So anyway, I'll see what, what happens. Okay, so I got, see this long one here? I kind of like that. This I think is gonna go outside on the, on the table. Um, I haven't been able to find anything that I like out there and I think this might make it. So I want it to be fairly large. So I left a good portion of the uh, grapevine sticking out. Um, it was not easy to weave through and it's not tucked in uh, every single opening, but that's okay. Um, by the time I'm done, you won't be able to even tell. See, you can hard, see it goes there, there, there. Yeah, see it's, it's not meticulous by any means. Okay, I'm gonna do another one, hang on. Okay, so I got another one in. Yep, oh, this one just still has little leaves too. Those will probably be knocked off by the time I'm done. But anyway, um, let me stand up so you can see. Yes, that's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. So, okay, I'm gonna keep going and I'll show it to you soon, okay. Okay, so I think I have all the grapevine woven through that I want. So now I'm going to do a layer of Spanish moss and then I'll do some twigs and see how that looks and then we'll go from there. Okay, I forgot about these guys. So I think I'll do a few of these. Oh, look how cute that's going to be. You just get a little pop of the white. Cute. Maybe I'll do a little bit of Spanish moss then I'll do some of these. Okay, so, oh look how cute that is. Um, I've got some Spanish moss in there. Now I'm going to do some of the white berries um, and hopefully they don't get lost too badly. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, so now I've added the white um, picks there, stems, and I don't know if it's picking up on camera very well, but it looks super, super cool. Looks super cool. Love, love, love. Okay, so now I'm going to, I think, add some, uh, just like twigs, you know, just kind of small sticks like that throughout. Yeah, and then maybe a little more moss. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm going to do twigs. Okay. You guys, this looks so cool. Look. Oh my God. I think I might do just a tad more. Spanish moss right in the middle. And then I think it's done. I think I'm gonna add my little raisinette grapes and then it's done. So I used two packages, almost two packages of those. I don't think I'm gonna use those. Um, yeah, no, yeah, no. So, oh my God, it's so cute. And then I'll put it on the table outside and show you guys, okay. Okay, there's my bird's nest. Look at that, look how cute. Okay, let's go down and get a real look. It looks so good, you guys. It looks very chic. <laughs> look at that, oh my God. That is so cool. That turned out so good. 
Um, not sure if I want to put, I have some huge eggs, so I could do, you know, just like one black egg, a couple of black eggs, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it really needs it. But it just looks so cool, you guys. So cool. Oh my god. Yeah, that's perfect for the table, too. And it won't get ruined because it's all outdoor stuff. The Spanish moss is plastic, so that's fine. Look how cute, you guys. Look at the sun reflected in the table, too. Oh, is that pretty? Okay. That was a win. Okay. So here is what I'm going to be painting today. This is going to be black. And in here... Also black there. I'm going to try my best to get under there. You can't see it on the camera, it looks like. But um, you can really see it in person. How, yeah, how that is the same color as this. Which I think... I, I don't like that. So I'm going to be painting that black too. I'm trying my best with my back. We'll see what happens. Okay. Gonna look so much better. Gonna start here. Okay. Look how much better. I'm whispering because the neighbors are hanging out outside and I don't want to come across as an idiot. <laughs> anyway, um, look how much better it looks painted black. Looks just like a shadow. Let me step back. <laughs> Wait till I put this stuff back and look over here. I was able. I didn't. Wasn't sure I was going to be able to get under there, but I did it. It's not a terrifically neat job, but oh, looks so good. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff back. Okay. Okay. So here it is, all complete. Look how cool that looks. See, now that stuff is in front of it, it just looks all that much more cool. I touched up the paint on the croquet set, just the white and black parts, obviously. It looks so cute! And then we come over here. And look at that. It just looks so much better. I can't even explain why, but it, I just know what it does. Love it. Look how cute. Everything just looks better up against the black. It's just how it goes. And that just goes away. Look at that. It just goes away. It looks so much better. Everything looks so much better up against it. So cute. Oh. All right. So now this area is done. Done, 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 done. Look how cute my fabulous chandelier and pulley setup and the porch all painted same color as the fabulous fence oh, look at my grass yeah that looks really good that all looks good nice and neat and this all looks good table looks dirty sorry about that it just rained yesterday finally it's still freaking hot. Look how cute. Oh my god, so cute. <sighs> Don't even know what to say. It's just so freaking cute. Yeah, it's just all come together so nicely. Let's go take a little look up at the cute front. Because it's so cute too. And we've got our fence all painted a while ago. Garden's finished. The hydrangeas come back nicely. And look at that vine. I love that vine. Came out of nowhere. And flower pots. They are waning through uh, toward the end of the summer here, but they still look fabulous. I still love them. Little seating area over here with this fabulous tree. Popped up out of nowhere as well. And then we've got our completed porch. Oh, so cute. Look how cute. With the black. And black 
Patrick on the posts, and then the black fox on the stairs. Oh, it's so, so cute. Touches of white there and on the trim around the door, which is open right now so you can't see the black door, but you get the idea because the screen curtain is black. Oh, it's so, you guys, my house is so stunning. <laughs> I just love my little house. Look how cute. Oh, okay. Now look at this. I love this little walk back here. So pretty. So pretty. Name tag. <laughs> and this guy is just taken up, taken off, I mean, all over the place. Look at that. I've got to clean it up a little bit. Yep. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Everybody's doing gorgeous. Okay, guys. All right. Look at these little guys. They are so cute. Um, I ordered these as yard decorations. Now, there were no measurements. So, you know, I, for the price I paid, I can't even remember. It was something like 20 bucks, something like that. Maybe, well, it was less than 50. I can't even remember, but yeah. It sounded like a good deal, so I can't imagine it was more than 50. In fact, I know I would not have paid more than 50 for yard decorations. Anyway, no measurements, and this is what came. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so they, they in the advertisement, you know, they were sitting on the lawn, and, and I, I, I guess the perspective they <laughs> used made it look like they were, you know, yard ornaments. These are not yard ornaments. They're very, very cute, but they are not worth 20 to 50 bucks. So yeah, so keep your eye out for that little scam there where there's no measurements. Look how cute though. So freaking cute. I'm going to paint them black. No idea what I'm going to use them for, but <laughs> so freaking cute. Yeah, but anyway, I would have liked to have had these, you know, about a hundred times the size they are. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, they knew exactly what they were doing by not putting the measurements in. So shady. Shady, shady, shady. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to paint these black. Okay, here's a bunch of other stuff I'm going to paint. Spray paint black. This is so cute. So it's got the twine in it. And the twine goes out a little hole. And then you know, under this thing. So, I'm just gonna paint it black, make it look nice and, you know, like it belongs in Simone's house. <laughs> and this guy, I'm gonna paint black as well. It is going to be used to scoop out dirt in my um, potting soil bin. So I'll use that there. And then these little containers, they're all going black as well. I think they're so, so cute. They're only dollar store things. So, so cute, so I can't get rid of them because they're so, you know, I can use them. But yeah, I just, I liked them when I bought them. Really, really like the shape, the size, yada, yada, yada. But they just never made it out into the decor. Just, yeah, just, I, I don't even know why. I like writing on stuff. I don't know. I, I don't. I can't even articulate why they didn't make it out into any of the uh, um, rooms or you know the patio or back when I got them the outdoor deck. So anyway, they're all going black, and these will be used indoors somewhere, I think. Um, and these guys are obviously going outside. Okay. So here is where I've put my little ants. See if I can get a good view for you. Look how cute they are. So stinking cute. They are certainly not lawn ornaments though. <laughs> Let's try one in the lawn. Let's see what it looks like. Let's just see. So yeah, this is kind of what they did. So they put it right in front. See how large that looks? That looked like a lawn. That's exactly the photograph that they showed for the advertisement. Let's just put it, yeah, see it looks a little different. <laughs> okay, but you know what? 
I fell for it. I bought it. Didn't send it back. Cute. Okay. And then I want to show you the little cup because it looks so cute. Look. So you painted it black and it's hanging from the, um, well, there's hardly anything in there yet, right now, but that's my potting soil. Look how cute that is. Cute. Yep. And then over here, got my little twine. See? So cute. I love this little thing. So, so cute. And handy, too. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay, and here's the little boxes after being spray painted. See, I even did the inside. Oh, I didn't do it underneath the lid. Mm. I actually forgot about doing that, but it looks okay. So, yeah, so those are done. So, I just have to. I didn't do the inside of that either. Okay. <laughs> I'm apparently not that detail-oriented. <laughs> but anyway, um, if I figure out a place to put them, I will show you guys. Um, but I think they turned out cute. I'm glad I kept them. Because um, you can always use stuff like that, right? Okay. And here's what I did with those um, boxes. The, I painted them black. Um, and then I put them in my bathroom. In my little medicine cabinet thingy over the toilet tank thingy. Um, so one is medication, one is just Tylenol stuff, and the other is eye stuff. I think they turned out cute. And I like that this now looks very, very neat and tidy. Love it, love it, love it. Yep, look back here. Connie, there's all your little Beth. Yes. Um, oh, bubble bath. Anyway, okay.